Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today we're doing another matchbox draw. I am in this room right now because my husband is working from home and he's in the book room. So the videos you will see for the start of the videos will be in this room from now on until we move, which is hopefully soon. Anyway, let's draw a, um, a little scroll. Got them all in here. Let's draw one. See what we get. We have the Quidditch pitch. Let's get started. Usually I would say at the start of my video, let's start with a basic matchbox shape. However, this Quidditch pitch is an oval, so it will be a similar size to my normal matchboxes. But for this one, I'm starting with an oval, as you can see on the screen right now. I'm tracing around it and cut it out with scissors. Quidditch is a whistling sport played on broomsticks. It is the most popular game among witches and wizards, and according to Ruby's Hagrid, the equivalent to Muggles' passion for football or soccer. I then cut a strip from the same cardstock. This is craft cardstock and wrap that around the oval so I can, I can get that, that lip that's standing up which is the outside of the oval or the Quidditch pitch in this case. Then with wood glue I like to use wood glue for attaching paper to paper. It's very strong and um, it kind of fills the gaps if there's any gaps. And then I wrap that strip of paper around until it attaches and let it dry. Once dry, it looks like this, and I also made a smaller one that's going to be sitting inside of the main oval. This is so there is a gap between the field and the walls, and this is the part where Draco and Harry chase each other. I'm putting some wood glue underneath the small oval, which I then place inside the larger one and let that dry as well. Of course, the Quidditch pitch needs some stands and quite a few. I made 12 in total and I cut them out with my Cricut. Before that, I obviously created the template in the Cricut design space and it wasn't too hard to do. And this is me trying to fold that thing up. Um, so it kind of folds in four and then it forms this little stand. They're so tiny and it was a bit of a trick to glue them together but I, I managed obviously otherwise I would, this video would not be out and um, here I am painting them in the colors of the houses and I'm just using plain acrylic paint folk art acrylic paint the object of the game was to score more points than your opponents each goal was worth 10 points and catching the golden snitch was worth 150 points the game ended when the snitch was caught or an agreement was reached between the captains of both teams. And here are some fun facts for you all. There is a game based on Quidditch called Muggle Quidditch in the real world. J.K. Rowling wrote five pages of words starting with Q before deciding upon Quidditch. Matthew Lewis, also known as Neville Longbottom, has said that he would like to be a professional Quidditch player. And of course, the oval needs to be green, so I'm starting with a layer of green acrylic paint, and then in a minute you will see what I will do to make the stripes on the field. Quidditch was a very popular spectator sport. 100,000 fans attended the 1994 Quidditch World Cup final. Binoculars were sometimes used by fans to view matches from the stands. I'm using plain old acrylic pencils to make the stripes on the field. And these are the Arteza Expert pencils. I bought the 72 set and I will leave a link in the description box below if you wanted to get your own.
then with a white gel pen I am making the white markings on the field. It was pretty easy to do. Um, it skidded a little bit over the pencils because they're wax, but it worked in the end. When it came to Quidditch, some of the professors lost their normal calm demeanor and became as excited about the results as the students. British Quidditch fans kept up to date with the latest Quidditch news in the Daily Prophet and Seeker Weekly. The stands are dry and now I can go in with pencils as well. I'm making a little grid and drawing in the colors of the houses that coordinate with the colors that I've put down first. And obviously I'm working on Slytherin here, but the, um, the principle is the same for all of them. I'm using the same technique and uh, yeah, it actually worked out pretty well and it's a little bit more accurate than trying to do this with paint. I'm gluing them together with wood glue and it's blurry because I was not paying attention to what I was filming at all because I was paying attention to what I was gluing. And then the top here is just a lot of glue and pinched together. It worked out in the end as you can see, but yeah, that was, uh, was gloopy. I have this strip of paper cut out from a piece of grid paper and I'm going to draw on that paper also the colors and a grid and basically the same as the stands. And you will see that I will glue that on the inside of the stadium to give it that sporty look. If you want to know more about Quidditch and the history and the rules of the game, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can read up on more information on it. Here are all the stands finished and I have to say I'm really really happy with how they turned out. And of course before I glue them in I need to have some goal posts. So I'm making them out of paper clips. I'm cutting them to size with some pliers and then I will glue them in with super glue. Just letting you know that my shop on darkestravendesigns.com is open and if you wanted to buy something for yourself or a loved one for the holidays, now is the time to do so. For the hoops or the rings that sit at the top, I have these tiny spring rings and I'm gluing them on top of the gold post with super glue as well. And here we have a little close up before I glue on the stands that go on the sides. I picked one of each and I just kept laying them out. So there are six at one side and six on the other side. Let's have a look what the final matchbox looks like. And this is it for this video. I really enjoyed making the Quidditch pitch, even though I'm not much of a sports person myself. Have a good look. There are even tiny flags on top of the stands. All my social media can be found in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.